Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah, brah. Bring it. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Yeah, thank you. I, I got it. You texting again? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Hi. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. All right, that was fun. Short-lived. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, how did doily shorts make it over here? I didn't even I didn't even see her pass me. Ugh, you guys are the worst. I don't want to talk to you. Hmm. Let's talk to Samuel. Hey, buddy. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. And he's not creepy, just X Files weird. I really wanted to be like the janitor on Scrubs. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Awesome. What? You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Awesome. What? Uh, okay, Jaden Smith. Can I get a direct answer out of you? What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. <laughs> Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. Oh my god. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. How can you know a prism? Uh. Oh, let's take a photo. If newborn babies could speak, they'd be the most intelligent beings on the planet. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't Sweet. care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Oh, well, she's okay. I like Kate. I don't have a reason to like her. Zach. I'm Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna waste time talking to these losers. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> what what was awesome about what just happened? Awesome. Wow, I can't believe that. Yeah, if you guys wanna see a if you guys wanna read a hilarious, hilarious, frustratingly terrible interview. Uh, read Jaden and Willow Smith's interview that they did this year. I can't remember. I think it was for, like, the New York Post or something like that. It should be online. It's, like, every line is gold. It's, it's great. Sort of. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girl. Do I have to? T I have to. I can't go inside without speaking to them. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Okay. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Good one. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. Uh, I'm gonna, moving. I'm gonna kick the shit out of all three oh, of wait. you. Hold that pose. 
so original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Social medias? You fuck your selfie. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. So, uh, did you just say the social medias? Keep walking, hippie. I'm gonna stand right here. The social medias, really? What's with this girl over here? She looks like she's supposed to have a cigarette in one hand, but she doesn't. This is a tobacco-free campus. You strange little woman. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Well, not... I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Well, the sprinklers just came on. Well, Samuel, you're taking an awful long time going up that ladder. Okay, what about the sprinkler? There we go. That's it. Let's take a look at this, though. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Or you could knock the shit out of that paint can. <laughs> Look at this uh, bush. The graphical wizardry is astounding. Um, how do we turn up the sprinklers? Ooh, let's go in here. Maybe there's something. Oh God, yeah. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. What? You want me to miss? What? What'd I miss? What exactly did I miss? Well, yeah, but how do I... Do I grab the football? What's up, Logan? What is with those birds? Do you see what's happening there? What are they doing? <coughs> yeah. Calm down, Max. That's terrifying. It's like birdemic over here. Shock and terror. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, yeah. bitch. What? Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Am I on a timer here? What exactly? Oh, nice. tamper. What I okay, let's see if this works. Okay, yeah, sure. Do you understand English? Get lost. Oh my god, these are horrible. I'm gonna get out of the way. Samuel, be okay. So, so, how did I tamper with it exactly? And how is this gonna get them out of the way? Is it gonna somehow fall in that direction? Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Okay. So how do I get them under the bucket? Huh. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. All right, I got it. No. Do you understand English? Just get lost. Keep walking, hippie. All right, maybe I turn on the sprinkler now. What the hell? Nice. Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look 
Great. I can't even chill on the steps. There we go. <laughs> this is this will be good. Although they're gonna take it out on Samuels. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! What? What was that? Hold on. Hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, I'm so sorry, Victoria. Let's talk some smack. I'm having flashbacks to Beyond Two Souls. Oh man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? <laughs> Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh wait, hold that pose. <gasps> yes! This is perfect! And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. So does Nathan? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Okay, I really just wanted to see what would happen. So does Nathan. That sounded fucking serious. All right, let's let's see what happens if we comfort. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Let's comfort. <laughs> see what happens. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Ugh, you're horrible. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. All I right. hope the sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Awesome. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Wow, I did not expect right, that. I did not expect that at all! Holy crap, well that was definitely the better Victoria decision. probably played me. I should have played her. No. Better get to my room before I find Warren. She, she, she said that thing about Nathan that really, <laughs> really concerned me. Slate. Uh, somebody wrote red rum. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going to Oh, here. whoa! Room 217? Nice! Isn't that the room from The Shining? What? Let's check out the map, I guess. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Um, looks kind of standard to me. Okay, Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Stomp em Bigfoots. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Oh, okay, that's Dana's room. Juliet, extreme reporter. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, who cares? Aw, that's mean. She probably works really hard on the Blackwell totem. Hey, the easiest thing to do is to not care about something because caring makes you vulnerable. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Not caring is always the cool thing to do. At least that's an alarm from this century. Cool is in quotes there. No balls allowed. Well, I guess that really covers the bases. <laughs> They live. Social media has a time and place. Don't let life flash you by. What? Alright, people need to get over this. 
weird shit about people spend too much time on their phones and stuff. If you ask me, I just get tired of it. It's just very self-important. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Draw something. I just, to me, it's like the, it's like the same type of people who say that video games are a waste of time or like, you know, such and such is a waste of time. Nothing is a waste of time if you enjoy doing it, if you ask me. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. I mean, I'm not saying, like, go shoot up heroin. It's not a waste of time if you enjoy doing it. I'm not saying that, but, you know. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Like, as far as, like, hobbies and shit go. Like, if you want to sit around all day and watch Netflix, knock yourself out, you know? I don't know. You don't have to be, like, run around outside with a horde of people that you know, having social interactions. Home and sweet home. My favorite cocoon. All that stuff. It's overrated. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Like, I don't understand. Is this a photo? <laughs> it's... Okay. Like, that's a very... It's a very heavy, uh, posterized filter. I think that's what that is. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. Mwah! We love you. Your mother and father. Holy crap. What awesome parents. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Holy shit! She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Listen, you need to respond to their texts! What's wrong with you? Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales? About a Blackwell honor student? Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge? And then he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not exactly pretty and pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I don't know. Uh, please don't play your acoustic guitar. Oh, God. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Let's do it. Um, that does not match up <laughs> with what she <laughs> with what she, with where she has her fingers. <laughs> but, okay, uh, I'm, I'm done. I was just curious to see. And, okay, I'm, I've tried to refrain from commenting on this, but she has some ridiculous camel toe going on. It's really distracting. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Like, I'm not pointing out in a perverted way. I'm pointing it out in, like, a she needs to take care of that kind of way. I miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Like, maybe get some looser pants. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Hmm. Oh, water your plants. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. How much time has passed since Warren asked us to get... This action will have consequences. Fuck. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. So this is 2013, right? Why is she calling them HDTVs? Like, what do you have right now? A CRT... TV, like, welcome to the 21st century. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. You mean some pirated movies? 
If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Wait, 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 wait. But how big is this flash drive? Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Oh, Dana, the cheerleader? Why was she... So strange. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Man, I do not know anything about photography at all. Nothing. It's just not something I'm really interested in, but... That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Oh, in Seattle? Oh, you went to the Space Needle? Ah, oh, cool. Space Needle's not actually that tall. <laughs> I was surprised when that I found out. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. I'm not actually sure why the Space Needle is so famous. It is very old, though. It's about... Well, maybe it's not that old. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. What the hell is that thing? I've never seen that before. I guess I didn't go to the right places in Seattle. Uh, let's see. Use? There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Fine. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Wow, can't, I can only imagine how much they cost. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Oh my god, just date him already. Are you kidding me? Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? Be seeing you, Warren G. Okay. Very stereotypical, haha, uh -huh, funny guy friend language. Right there. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Okay, clearly the person who made this game has a passion for photography. It is everywhere. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? Aww. I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. You don't even have any text from her. I mean, like, look. She doesn't even text you. Hasn't even texted you in like a month. Like a long time. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Don't lie down. You gotta go to Dana's room. Um, okay, I don't... <laughs> Wait, what? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. What is with this power strip? Turn off? Why would I turn it off? Oh, hi, Mirror. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Do I have a limit on how many photos I can take? I achieved a, an achievement. <laughs> Called a red eye. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Um... What? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Juliet? Oh. Answer, you wuss. You're oh. Juliet. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Huh. You are ridiculous. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Fuck. Fuck. I've never heard it mentioned. Well, good thing we can reverse time. Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. 
that was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Oh no, she took it really hard when I didn't know her wash name. Hey gal, settle down. All right. Hey Juliet. Is everything? Oh yes, Max. I've. Juliet Watson, be nice. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Well, uh, I didn't. Of course I do. Because I reversed time. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? What? what? Why? Yeah. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. What? Where's Victoria's room? Is it this? T what? Okay. Well, it was open. The screensaver's up. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Of course. Those boots are made for walking runways. Mm-hmm. Very clever. What's that noise? Okay. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Um, well, I think I know why. Probably because Am Rachel Amber was sleeping with Mr. Jefferson and she likes him and she's mad. It's like an ex-girlfriend type of thing. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Yeah, I noticed. Really disturbing. Wow. Oh my god. 2009? She's been tracking him for a long time. That's pretty... Hmm. What is this? They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Uh, the proof is in Victoria's room? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Are you kidding me? A 3D printer? Oh my god. No one should ever have to own a 3D printer. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Is it a nice shot? I have no idea. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumb as believe me. And so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Who's Taylor? <laughs> the, the, the subject is bitch down. I'm sorry, who sends emails to each other like this? Okay. Yeah. But, but we can read it, thanks. Well, that was easy. Wait, where's the printer? <laughs> uh, here it is. You know, you need to like get rid of the Better evidence. Better convinced Juliet that Dana is innocent. Just saying. Leave. Caught. Oh. Really? This is okay. Hey. 
Check it out. Listen, Juliet. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Yeah, that was some, uh, some, uh, thief shit I pulled back there. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Sup, Dana? You're looking good. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. <laughs> Juliet gets her rage on. Can I not insult someone? Victoria is not nice. I don't know. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. Don't friend zone Warren. I mean, I haven't met him yet. Uh, I don't like the term friend zone, but. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Man, Dana does not like to look at people when she talks to them. It would be a cool sticker without the words. What? Oh my god. Ugh, words are important. Ugh. This is both Typical sad visual artist. And pathetic. Dana, and I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. What? What a horrible note. Anyway, at my job, I have to work with like graphic designers and art directors all the time, and the words are never important, are they? Well, whatever. The words are just another shape. An unwanted shape that makes everything more complicated. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Oh, fuck. What did I do? I don't know why I did that. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Fuck. Why did I do that? I wasn't thinking. I was just talking. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. That's okay. I can just change it. Make it up to her. Yeah, uh, let's not fucking take that. Holy crap! Let's just take the flash drive and leave. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> oh, okay. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, sorry for taking your pregnancy test, Dana. Oh god. Bye. Oh my god. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Alright, I get it, dude. I get it. I can't, like, what have we done so far? <laughs> what, like, what's happening, Zach? Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Really? Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. What, what am I rewinding to?
Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Oh, you suck. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. My god. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, and she's... This action will have consequences! What? Now that's what I call instant karma. What possible consequences could this have? I mean, like, was someone sleeping directly underneath it, and then, like, the glass got in their mouth and they choked in their sleep on the glass? Or, like, I don't know! By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Why do you have my phone number? When do they ever exchange phone numbers? Okay, I really don't give a shit. Oh, look at all these people. Oh, look, they've all got photos now. Cool. Who the hell is David? Oh, he's that security guy. He's got a porn stash, just like Orange is the New Black over here. I guess I have a little advantage over Nathan by being able to manipulate time. Sorry, I was ringing in my head. Sorry. <laughs> but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places. Uh-huh. I do feel kind of bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control. On the other hand, he's an asshole who nobody has called out. And he almost killed, slash did kill, a girl on campus. What do I say about my rewind power? Nothing. You don't say anything about that. Come on. Wait, where's the... Yeah, I know. Hey, well, he's he's a bureaucratic asshole, obviously. He sides with the, the prestigious family. Okay, da da da. I thought I smelled alcohol in his breath. But that might have been his cologne. What? Okay. I guess we should, uh, go to the main building now. Go out to the parking lot where Warren is. I'd like to actually meet him. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Whoa, he really is like porn stash. Hey! Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good, see you later. Looks like I made him think about oh, something, Max, though. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Okay. This action I will have like consequences. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Don't worry about Maybe it. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I mean, don't tell me what to make you do. That's a weird dynamic. Thanks for the interlude. Aw, this is a regular John Hughes moment. Is he gonna hold a boombox over his head? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I know. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hey. Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Aww. 
I won't bother you. Sorry about Zachary. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Oh, I'm sorry, Juliet. Check it out. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I guess we'll find out what's happening there soon enough. Yo, Max, check it out. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. Max, get your He's a brave here. man. I'm, I'm right here, dude. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. Whoa. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. <laughs> Whoa. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk. Say really. Oh, <laughs> too bad I didn't take the photo. <laughs> really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone. Oh, nice. Which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. <laughs> Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. S seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> Wait, what? what is this? No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. He sounds super young. You seem distracted. I need to talk. <laughs> I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, no. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Tell him the truth. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Okay. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! What? Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <laughs> <laughs> what? What is going on? Max? 
Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Wait, that's... Again, that's Chloe? Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! You're just gonna leave him with Warren? 